If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AOEAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over my Team of the Week, Week 8 predictions. Week 8 wasn't as exciting as some other weeks. This is one of those days where I was watching football Sunday and I kind of got to a point where I was like, okay, let me go do some cleaning. Let me go take a shower. Let me go cook some lunch. Right? It was one of those days where I didn't mind leaving the, you know, the TV for a little bit. I wasn't really enjoying a lot of Sunday games. Now, results wise, you know, like game wise wasn't bad, but there were some blowouts. There were some less satisfying games. There were some late game benchings. Fantasy for me didn't do too well. It was one of those weeks, but that doesn't mean that there aren't some standout players that are still in line for a team of the week week eight upgrade now guys before we get into today's video make sure to go down below hit that subscribe button turn that notification bell give this video a big thumbs up and of course if you guys need coins head on down below to my sponsor and always use code poodle for a great discount now before we get into the video guys again you guys know the format for team of the week week eight you know any week we have team of the week ltd which was a pass player that has performed well in this week a current hero guy that performed well this week we have the lower set guys which are like six guys that performed really well this week and then we have the legend heroes who are guys who performed well this week in a very past performance and they don't still don't play right you guys know the deal so let's head into this let's get into the auction block let's check out some of these guys here and see if the upgrades could be useful for some of these guys now First guy, I'm just going to say the relevant lower ones. We have Michael Pittman, which is going to be one of the lower guys that could get the power-up upgrade or their first power-up card, of course, if they don't already have one. Uh, so let's go. I spelled his name wrong. It's two Ts. Pittman. So he only has a 74 gold. So this should be exciting for any of you Colts fans out there or Michael Pittman guys. Uh, he could end up getting one of the like mid ones, like an 85 85 elite so that's pretty cool as well for him that should that should see him get closer to like an 87 88 speed as well as he's six foot four could be a decent budget card depending on how the other stats roll around and of course on a cold steam team could be kind of fun depending you know maybe as a fourth or fifth best wide receiver next uh we have let's see what we got on the list we have mike white for all you jets fans this, this one's probably kind of exciting for you not long term wise but for the week you know you guys take your wins where you can get them if you're a Jets fan. You, you guys know how this goes. Mike, Mike what? Oh, God. Mike White. There we go. So let's see if he even has a card. He doesn't even have a Muck card. So that'll be interesting. I didn't think he did. Uh, 400 yards for Mike White and a dub. Definitely, almost certainly, I think he'll be getting a card. So that'll be definitely cool for any Jets fans out there. Uh, again, probably like a low, low, like 81, 82 elite. Nothing crazy. But still, still cool nonetheless. Xavier Woods. For the Cowboys, had a pretty good day on Sunday Night Football. I'm seeing if he has any other upgraded cards already. It doesn't look like it. Uh, so, Xavier Woods is that base gold that you guys just saw above. So, where is that? Right here. So, free safety for the Cowboys. He'll probably end up getting... He did pretty good. He had a sack, a fumble, and an interception. It kind of like he hit the whole roulette there. Uh, probably mid-low 80s, if I had to guess. Closer to 87 speed. Not going to be anything useful. Just going to be a guy that gets a card, in my opinion. Then we had, so we had Adrian Phillips, two interceptions, and then we had Malik Reed, two sacks, and a fumble. Those are my guys for the lower set, guys. Now for the Legend Hero. The, my Legend Heroes could be kind of interesting this week if we... I don't know how this guy will do. It, it really depends on... Because next-gen Madden plays differently. So there's a decent chance this guy could be a goon. I just would have to see kind of along the lines of how they'd make this card. Now, Frank Gore in a past performance, had a really, really good week. I feel like we could get a Frank Gore card here. A Frank Gore card, I think, will be built similar to this Derrick Henry in terms of, you know, stats. Now, Frank Gore had 207 yards and two touchdowns. That's definitely team of the week worthy. Now, Frank Gore, speed-wise, I think we'll get like a 91-92. So, I think that'd be similar. That'd be good enough. His agility would be mid-low 80s. He'd have high 90. He'd have, well, high 80, mid-high, mid-90 carrying, somewhere in that range. He'd definitely have decent catching, like in the 64 to 70 range. Change of direction probably low, but I think I think his car will be very similar to Derrick Henry. Now, I don't know exactly what uh, weight Frank Gore played at. Let me just type it in real quick so I can give you guys that, because that's the thing. Frank Gore, when he played, you know, he'd be the stereotypical kind of... It's 216, it says here. I wonder how that'll, that'll factor into Madden, but he's one of those, like, thicker break tackles between the tackle kind of running back, and I think that he could play a good on next in Madden. And maybe they even give him some better speed. No, a throw. Frank Gore wasn't really slow. He always had some pretty good Madden cards. Uh, next... Next guy is Justin Tuck for the Giants. Now, Justin Tuck would be super fun. Now, I think he actually got a card for this last year. So, I always kind of have... I always have some fear when I say Justin Tuck because I know they've done this before. So, I wonder if they do it again. Justin Tuck, I'm not seeing any comparable guys here. He's not more... He's not the Aaron Donald build. He's more of those, like, a little bit, you know, a little bit skinnier, more athletic ones. 
But anyways, Justin Tuck had two sacks and a pick six out of the end spot, which is super good. Uh, Justin Tuck would be pretty good. He'd probably be like a, a finesse and power move combo kind of guy with some good, pretty, I wouldn't say elite speed, but good speed. He'd be a pretty well-rounded guy for the most part. I'm not sure exactly if we'll get him. I, I will hope that we get him, but it'll definitely be a good card. And of course, because of the overalls, which let's see what they're at at this point in time. Are we in line for the upgrade? I think that they were already upgraded. Let me just check this out real quick. Let's go to 94.95 for the LTDs. Okay, so currently Edmonds was the first 94. So, okay, so they just upgraded recently. So they should again once, once again be 94. So that means Tuck will probably be around a 93, which would be a very useful card for the most part, right? Um, I, I would love to see a Justin Tuck card and a Frank Gore card. I think they both would be pretty good. Now for the current hero, this guy could get a really good Muck card. They've typically like hoed his speed in the past. I don't know why they always do that. But he's a really good player in the real, in real life. And he had a really good week. And he just came back. He just seems right, right? He just came back from the injury and finally started getting his, his feet back under him. It seems like the kind of guy you want to give a card. Now, AJ Brown, he's an 82 basically. He's an 87 flashback. All right, so 87 flashback is his best card. So this seems like a perfect time to give AJ Brown his next card. He had 155 yards, a touchdown, and one really long touchdown. AJ Brown, with an upgrade, would probably be, right, a 93 overall powered up to 94 which would mean that's about a well that is a seven overall increase so i would i would assume they'd give him a 92 speed right i would hope for 93 but i'm, I'm thinking 92 here a 93 would be great maybe powered up 93 let's go with 93 his catching will be about a 90 his catching traffic will be about an 89 his spec catch will be a 90 his short route running medium route running will be 90 and deep route running will be like 92 so if this car gets all the route running threshold with 93 speed at six foot 226 with 90 catching this car will actually be pretty elite and be one of the better cars in the game 80 strength at wide receiver will be good he'll end up with like high, high mid 90 acceleration he'll end up with uh above 90 jumping now this is where it gets interesting his stiff arm could potentially get close to 90 his trucking will get into the 80s his juke will for sure be 90 and so will his spin as well as his break tackle will be in the 90s this card will get pretty nasty with the ball if he does get this upgrade i would really like to see an aj brown card here and then for my LTD current guys, this is my current player that a current player that performed well in week eight in the past, but not, but they still play, right? So this is going to be, I think this is time for his upgrade. This card would be really, really good. And he would be a pretty high overall and would probably compete for one of the better quarterbacks in the game. That's Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes has went this whole year without an upgrade. And it's kind of confusing me at this point. I mean, I know he's not playing the best, but we all know Madden doesn't base anything off real life anymore. Everything's kind of just like pre-scripted. So You've definitely been holding him out now, unless they're holding him for the Thanksgiving promo, which he had. I mean, he's had a card in like every promo. He was a Christmas promo guy, he had a Thanksgiving promo. I don't know if he's ever had a most feared card. He probably has, but it wouldn't make sense really to give Mahomes a card during team of the week. But at the same time, it's a, he's due for it. He had six touchdowns and 326 yards. I believe like two years ago, maybe 2019, um, week eight. But this card, right, he'd be a 95 overall. He'd be 94 plus the power. So 95 overall out of a Patrick Mahomes card. That would be elite. That's a plus seven increase. Now, if we talk, if we're talking plus seven increases here, that Mahomes card probably ends up with a 78, 79 speed. Doesn't sound like elite speed, but trust me, it's usable. That card ends up with like a 94 throw power. That's a very high throw power. He ends up with above 90 short, above 90 medium, above 90 deep. He's an all threshold thrower, above 90 throw under pressure, above 90 throw on the run, like probably 95 throw on the run and above 90 play action. That this is where it gets interesting. His agility gets into the 80s. His awareness gets above 90, which again, his awareness is important for how route master. He's an improviser type, right? Which means that maybe I, I don't know what the escape artist, I mean, uh, you know, that stuff was, but it's gonna get interesting if he can get escape artist for whatever reason, and or hot route master as well, because he's gonna be a 95 overall, which does open up some other possibities. If he can get like escape artist and hot route master, that'd be pretty awesome. Uh, gunslinger, we'd have to check. It could be like a 96. I have I, I don't know the exact thresholds for that on the improviser. But again, this car will be a high enough overall to where things start to get interesting. His break sack will be close to 90s. We'd have to see, but Mahomes would be a super, super fun card. Again, he doesn't have the fastest release in the game. He may not get, if he got, for whatever reason, if he got Gunslinger, Hot Remaster, or Escape Artist, or at least one of those, he's going to be in the mix for one of the better quarterbacks in the game. So it's interesting to see. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. And of course, comment down below. Let me know, who are you expecting for Team of the Week this week? Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.